So I got a special delivery today and it's going to prepare me to start my next phase of the truck build on the taco. So got my sliders today from Cali Raised. And these bad boys here are going to replace the stock steps that came with the TRD 4x4 off-road. I've actually uh, drugged these a few times on some dirt. Nothing serious, but it's part of the overall build is to get rid of them. There you have it. Those are not a big deal. Pretty light. Looks a lot different. Wow. And now to do this side. a lot of hardware lots of parts that's for sure it's gonna be a lot of fun it looks like the rock sliders are on however I decided not to take this project on myself after looking through the box at the parts um, there's no instructions there's not really any good videos on the install I elected to make the best choice in my opinion and I contacted Cali Rays 4x4 in Buena Park and I was able to get down there and they got the install done. In addition you also really need some type of lift to hold the rails in place as you're installing them which I don't have. The bumper is manufactured by Body Armor 4x4 and as you can see it's got a cutout for a light which is not included. It does require a 20 inch light and the winch is a Smittybilt X20 10,000 GVW with synthetic rope. So I went with Cali raised LED for all my lights, ditch lights. You've got the uh, inserts for the fog lights just replaced, but that was pretty easy to do myself. And then underneath the bottom portion of the grill, there is a 32 inch light, which got partially blocked by the bumper, but it's not too bad. Then on the inside there was a pocket by the steering wheel and I replaced uh, that with a Cali Ray switch setup and I have all three switches as you can see they're also they light up I did the install and wiring of all the LED lights on my truck myself Cali Ray's made it pretty simple with their wire harnesses, their switches, and they've got pretty good videos on their site. Okay, so I am using overkill, but I'm using these hoists, which are half ton hoists, to be able to put the uh, tent on and off my truck without having to have any help. Not too bad. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some ties I just bought to make this thing a little more secure when I leave it up here. And then I'm going to put these little covers back on the truck until the next time. So it keeps the truck pretty low profile when I'm not actually using it. There's no point in driving around the tent. So now it's out of my way. It's a better choice than setting it on the side, which I've had for the last month or two.